Thank God this is not how the story ends. Yes, we, we, we see the goodness of God, we see the grief of God, but also in this text, that's the good news, we see the greatness of God. First of all, again, we see the goodness of God. God tells Noah to build an ark. Mm -hmm. It's going to rain. Mm -hmm. You know, we were planning this day. Yeah. And, and and all I heard on the forecast was, it's going to rain. It's going to rain. Yes. <laughs> no, you won't be talking about no, right? <laughs> <laughs> God tells Noah to build. God tells Noah to build. Uh -huh. He requires Noah to build, to build. God will not do what we can do for ourselves. Yes, sir. Say that, sir. God won't do for us what we can do for ourselves. He, yes. he requires Noah to build the ark. Yeah, right. All right. I think sometimes, too, God perhaps is uh, hoping that Noah would probably be willing to take care of something that he built. Mm -hmm. It appears that when God created the world and handed it over to man, to humans, they didn't think enough of what the gift is that God had given them to take care of it. That's the problem with giving children everything they want and, and not letting them work for it sometimes. You, you'll find it has more value when you have to pay for it yourself. If you got some sweat equity in it, it will mean something to you. But as long as somebody's giving you something, you don't appreciate it all the way. Let me stop before I get into it. Uh, one of the leadership traits God is showing us today is that, that, that uh, leaders choose the right person for the job. God requires Noah to build out of all the folk that are available. God says to know, no. pass me. I want you to build. Leaders know how to choose the right person. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what it was about Noah, mm -hmm. but God saw in Noah something God could use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leaders, leaders choose the right person for the job. We see the goodness of God, but we also see the guidance of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not only does God require Noah to build, tell Noah to build, mm -hmm. but God, God gives, he tells Noah how to be. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. If we're talking uh, about worshiping in a pandemic, mm -hmm. then we have to understand that there, uh, there are instructions we need to follow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God gives specific instructions to Noah on how to be. Lord have mercy. If we want our children to understand how to keep a roof over their head, then we ought to show them how to build a roof while they're young. If you show them how to build that, there'll always be a roof over their head. He leaves Noah with specific direction. All right. And Noah follows them exactly. We see the greatness of God, the goodness of God, the guidance of God, another leadership characteristic. Leaders provide a step-by-step -step plan. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. If we want the next generation to be successful, yeah, yeah. We can't go along with this old pie in the sky. It's going to be all right. But we have to make some provisions right now. It said that the parent ought to lay up for the child rather than the child lay up present for the parent. Step by step plan. This is how we do it. <laughs> Goodness, yeah. guidance, yeah. and then we all see, see God's grace. Yeah. 
Because he gives Noah the knowledge, skills, and ability to build. He gives Noah the strength, the courage, the wisdom to build any house. Even when there wasn't a cloud in the sky. He, he gives Noah vision yeah. Come on. That, that one day is going to rain. Yeah. And the best time to buy a number uh, is when the sun is shining. Yeah. But if you wait till it rains, it's going to be too late. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody is going to get wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Noah fills the ark. Yeah. And, and here's the part that we want to use for men's day. Uh, is that Noah uses his family uh, yeah. in the Lord already. Uh, he uses his family yeah. to build the ark. Yeah. Therefore, he's teaching his family how to survive yeah. the pandemic. Yeah. And not only do they survive, but, but they are saved by grace. In the Lord already. They built their own place of safety. Yeah. The storm was coming, yeah. but God got them ready. Yeah. Teach a child how to build. Yeah. Everything will be all right. Yeah. Leaders know how to choose the right person for yeah. the job. Yeah. They know how to provide step-by-step -step plan. Yeah. And then notice this here, leaders know how to stay with the plan. Yeah. No, we're not just trying to tell God it don't work like right that. It might have worked in Jesus' time. It might have worked in a, a Adam time. But when, when Noah went to work, somebody today needs to go to work. We talk. We see faith. Family equals the future. Teach your family how to survive. <laughs> All right. Gotta go? Gotta go. <laughs>